Now, the first episode we did was the period, covered the period 1945 when I was born to 1950. I lived in Peter Pan Cottage. There was um, four girls and one boy. That The house was really too small after Mary was born, you know. Yeah. Um, the Talbots built this house for us, which was brand new in Bridgefield. Bridget was born there and Bernadette was born there. She was the youngest, Bernadette the youngest. Now, the, ca- the house got its name Dingley Dell from a book my father was reading at the time when we were moving, uh, Charles Dickens' Pickwick Papers. And apparently there's a reference in that to where they all went for a party in Dingley Dell. He thought, oh, that's a grand name. So he put us the name put on the house. I remember that the builder's name was Doyle. I don't know why I remember that. There was only two builders in Malahide at the time, I think, Bizzards and Doyles. One of the big things when we moved in was um, my mother had insisted on all the floors being polished and polished and polished. And I think they had got lino with that in, like linoleum. Life was still great there um, insofar as we had all the woods to play in. And we used to play a lot in the woods, building ranches and run around the woods. Typically, you disappear whenever you could. There's the house and you just come back for meals. I mean, we used to go into the garden, the walled garden. And, and rob the orchards like everybody did when we were young. And it was quite a climb over the garden wall, remember that. And um, I can't remember whether the apples were any good or not, but we used to do it anyway. It was just something to do. It was a sort of then cowboys and Indians, of course, cowboys and Indians was the big thing in the 50s. That's what people played, you know, the Wild West. The Inglesby's uh, lived in Margaret's Road, Pat Inglesby and his brother um, and his two sisters, as far as I remember. We could see their house and I was just saying we could signal with mirrors sometimes to them, you know. Um, with the sun, depending on the direction of the sun and things like that, we flashed, flashed the mirror over and they'd flash it back. That sounds very Ina Blyton like. Yeah, <laughs> that was the era, of course. <laughs> yeah. The house opposite um, the casino, that's probably the most famous house in Malahide with the thatched roof. Why yes. Do you know why it's called the casino? No, it was always a casino. I think I, I understood you now, and I may have this wrong, that it was actually built way back by one of the Talbots as a sort of hunting lodge. But where why it got the name Casino, I do not know. And that was always the same family, wasn't it? Kirkers were there, yeah, a few generations of them. And in fact, they were very kind people. They were Quakers and very kind people. And they used to keep an eye on my mother and they call up now and again just to see she was okay. But yeah, they were very, very nice people. So when you were growing up, the the two donkeys were always there. Yeah, they were hardly the same ones. But I, I don't suppose they were, but there was always a salt and pepper there, yes. And a cow. Yes. And I forget the name of the man who's lived down the village. He used to come up and look after the cow and milk the cow. The cow could be called butter. Of course, I don't know what it was called. <laughs> I was there until 1978. I bought a house over in Senesta and I moved out. My father died in 1972. Um, he was only 63. Uh, he died of lung cancer. Uh, so from then on, which was uh, 1972 until 1994, that was 22 years my mother lived there uh, as a widow until uh, she died. Um, yeah. She always had a cat, yeah. <laughs> there was always a cat around. I don't know how uh, many generations of cats there was there, but anyway, not something I particularly like anyway, but she always had cats there. 